How do I link my buttons on my homepage to my course content? To do this, you'll need to edit your page. And then scroll down in the rich text editor and find the button that you would like for it to go or link to. You have to make sure that you already have the content made inside of your course before you build a link. For this purpose, I'm going to take a step back and then go cancel this out and show you that I've already got pages built. So I'm going to click on the pages icon. It loads the main page that we were just editing. And then I'm going to click on view all pages at the top. Once you view all pages, you can see that I have a meet the teacher page, a unit one page, a unit two page, and a unit three page. There's also the welcome to your course page, which is the landing page. It's denoted as a front page. It's published. That is the only way you can make it a front page. And you can click on the three arrows where there are three dots or the kebab that uh, Canvas calls it. And you can normally set it as the front page, but I could also remove it as the front page. But you can duplicate a page if you have a design that you've already made. You can duplicate it so that you don't have to keep rebuilding the same thing from scratch over and over again. You can also send it to someone. You can also copy it to another course. You can edit the page from this menu as well, and you can also share it to the commons area. Um, but the pages that I have built, for example, the Meet the Teacher page will link this one. So here is the Meet the Teacher page, and there's the banner I created, my, vid, my image, my bio, contact information, um, degrees and certifications, and I could also have a link on this that would take me back to my Oklahoma Schools bio page as well if I needed to. Um, go back to view all pages. And the other pages are here as well. On the unit one page, this is a content page. If I decided that I was going to build my first unit, I'm going to build all the content just on the page and just have the students scroll through, or I'm going to have all the directions that they're going to do through the content and just use pages. Um, this is where I would link the, the students to. I'm also going to show you that I have modules. Now, modules will be discussed in a little bit more detail in a different video, but all I've done is clicked on the plus module button here and named a module class resources, unit one title, unit two title, unit three title. So I have these modules already built. There's no content there, but I have the skeleton done and I have skeleton pages. So let's do a combination of things. Let me go back to the home page and click on the edit button again. <clears throat> Once the page loads, scroll your page down, click on the first button that you want to link. So the first button that we're going to link is going to be, and I'm going to just expand this so that it's a little easier to see. So when you click on the first button there, you're going to go up to the toolbar and look at the icon toolbar and scroll over until you find the little chain link. This chain link icon has an arrow beside it, and then you have two choices in the dropdown. The external links is going to be exactly what you think it is, something outside of the Canvas page. You're going to link them to Ford.com or CNN.com. You're going to take them somewhere outside of our network and our Canvas instance. Course links is going to be something inside of this course. So I have a page that I've built called Meet Mr. Felker, and I need to link the Meet the Teacher icon button to that page. So I'm going to choose course links. A menu will appear on the side, a little pop-up window or pop-out window, and you have different choices. If you get so much content in here that you can't find something, you can always search for it. Um, you can drop down this menu here and change from links to go to files if you needed to go to a specific file. But right now we're going to just click links, and I know that that's a page. So here is the Meet the Teacher page. I see that it is published. If I was taking them to this Unit 1 page, it's not published. So the kids couldn't be able to, to click on it or open it up, but the link would be set and be there until I publish the page. But the Meet the Teacher page is published, so I'm going to click on that, and the link is automatically put there. 
and I don't have a scroll down. I mean, I can scroll down, but there's nothing else for me to do over here. So it's just a matter of clicking off. And getting that little X at the top there. Remember, you have to hit your escape key to get out of the full screen view. And we're going to go and see if that worked. Click save. And now we'll scroll down. We'll see that the meet the teacher page, when I click on it, links to the meet the teacher page. Okay. So we can go back a step. We can edit the page again and show you that the second button is syllabus. And I'm going to click on that and then go back to the little chain link and go to course links. This time, it's not a page. I could build a page and put my syllabus there. But realize that over in the course navigation, you have a place for your syllabus. So when you scroll down to course navigation, let me scroll this down so you can see it. Under course navigation, you can have this button go to one of these places over here on the side. So this time we're just going to pick syllabus. And then I'm going to scroll back up so I can see the little X there. Click off. Click save. And now we're going to test this out. So when I take my mouse, it should turn into a pointer finger if there's a link there. So there's the meet the teacher link. There's the syllabus link, and you saw that it turned back to the arrow in between. Click on the syllabus link, and it will take me to the page that is the course syllabus page. There's the banner, and I have text here that says upload or embed your doc here. So anything that you put here on this page or you embed in that rich text editor box when you hit edit is going to show up here. And then any um, assignments, things that are coming up, are going to show up down here at the bottom in the course summary. That's what the course syllabus is. So I'm going to go back home and show you again from the home page. Here's your buttons. Here's your links. And I need to finish adding the links to those three or four additional buttons here as well. Um, so I'm going to go back and show you one more time. We're going to click edit. And this time we're going to go to a module because people are deciding whether they're going to use pages or they're going to use modules. So let's say I'm going to go to the class resources and I want to take that to a module where I'm going to upload all the class resources. Or it could be a file that I have that's called class resources. So I'm going to click um, class resources, down arrow, course links, and this time I'm going to go to the modules. And I have to scroll it down so I can see. There's a module here that's published that's called Class Resources. I'm going to click on that. While I'm here, I'm going to click on Unit 1, Unit 1, Unit 2, Unit 2, Unit 3, goes to Unit 3. Okay. Scroll back up so I can click on the X, click off of trouble, click Save. And when I go back to my course page now, link, no link, link. No link, link. There's a link to unit one, unit two, unit three. So when I go to course resources or class resources, it's going to take me to that module. Okay. As I add content to these modules, um, if I were to pick unit three, it would start with that unit at the top. That's where it would bounce me to. So let me show you how that works. So when I click unit three, then it automatically jumps me down the page to unit three to where I'm going. But that's how you link buttons, whether you are taking people to pages in your course or whether you are taking them to modules in your course. It works the same way. A button is simply an image that you hyperlink to another place in the course or outside of the course. I hope that helps.